going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today hey we're here with cricket memes episode oh 52 i think 52 53 no 52 we're definitely up to 52 i'm getting ahead of myself i'm excited to get to 100 but hey we are here with episode 52 let me say it again um firstly if you guys want to join the discord dm me comment down below whatever um and i'll send you the link to join the discord we got the memes we got everything going on in here um but hey grab your mum grab your dad grab your milk grab your custard your pet iguana let's just get into it we're here um okay now i'm i'm so glad someone is is bringing this up because i was gonna make a separate video on it but we're not gonna now because it's here chetan sakuraya and mukesh chowdhury will be playing in the Queensland Premier League in 2022 in Australia. So inspirational. Wow. Oh, it's just so inspirational. I don't think this has ever happened before. Um, where, like, an actual Indian listed player, of course. We had the man, um, shit, what's his name? Ummak Chand. Is that it? Ummak Chand. He came over here um, and played, like, two games in the Big Bash at the end of the season, he wasn't very happy. He didn't get a game <laughs> all year. Um, he wasn't that good, to be honest. But this is exciting because what this means, what this means is that players are looking at Australia firstly, like like he could have gone, these guys could have gone to England, could have gone anywhere. They've come to Australia. The BCCI, I didn't even know would allow this. So not only do they allow this, but maybe in the future, we will see some you know, maybe not the superstars, but we will see some players like Sakuraya, Chowdhury play big bash league in Australia. Oh boy, would that, bro, I would go to every game I would, like, that I could go to, I would, oh man, that would just, that would make the big bash like the second best league in the world. Even though I think we're already the second best league in the world, of course, the IPL first, um, so exciting. I'm, I am so glad this is happening. Um, and if they play a game in, in um, my hometown, Melbourne or whatever, then I'm going to go down there and see uh, see the boys down there. Um, because they would, like, both of those guys would dominate in the big bash. I'm not even kidding. Especially Chowdhury. Um, hey, I posted this one. Let's go. And this is another level of happiness, bro. At the second I saw this, the amount of times you would find the ball just like it's covered in dirt and crap. Oh, man. It's just so happy. So inspirational. Uh, we've got I, IPL League Slander. Oh, boy. This could get dangerous. Hold on. Okay. Ooh. Bro, is that Fall Guys music in the background? I've got to turn that off. <laughs> MI fans, when you accuse them of fix... Oh, boy. Uh, SRH explaining why Kane's smile will help them win the IPL. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Woo! That song going off. Okay, CSK fans running to give all the credit to MS Tony. <laughs> oh. RCB fans, if, they're, if their team didn't choke in the play. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Rajasthan Royals and, wait, hold on, go back. Rajasthan Royals and CSK in 2016? Well, to be fair, CSK have won like two titles since then, but Gujarat Titans winning their first title on their first try, very Chad. Kolkata when it sees Rowett and Warnett. <laughs> Yo. What TV show is that? Punjab fans after 2014. Is that when Yuvraj Singh left? DC, or is that the last time they made the final? I think it was. DC thinking, why Ponting's... Yo! Okay, I'm not going to read that. Uh, Lucky now, Super Giants dressing up. <laughs> People who only watch Punjab and SRH games. Woo! That's the real blockbuster. RCB fans when you crack a joke on them. <laughs> That's true. So, hey, shout out to um, this channel right here, Tanvir's Cricket Shorts. Keep these videos up. They're funny. I love them. Um, I think that's the same one right there, but... <laughs> oh, man. They've done Punjab dirty in that video as well. 
Wow. Okay, let's go through this. Dhoni has all of them but an under-19 World Cup. That's crazy. Coley, missing out on the T20 and the IPL. Yep, true. Rowett, no, um, is this ODI? What's this? And then under-19. And the man, Yuvraj Singh, wow, has all five. The greatest Indian player to ever do it. I think that's, uh, I think that's what you got to say now. <laughs> hey, that is... Under-19, when would have Yuvraj Singh played in Under-19 World Cup? Wow, it's a long time ago. Um, yeah. Damn, Shikadar won't going out for 97. It's enough to make you cry, that's okay. Hey, inspirational 97 though, let's not forget. Let's not forget, that 97 probably won them the game. Um, Unfortunate way to get out while batting so well. Gil run out. Yeah, 64 from... He was on his way to a century. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Yeah, fat. Me waiting for his maiden century. Yep. Bro, when is he going to get it? Come on, Shubby. We're all behind you. We all want to see you do well. Come on, mate. You can do it. <laughs> Come on. I thought he was going to get it last night, but he got uh, out again on 53, I think it was. Or 40-something. Sanju Sampson, oh, this is from the first game, uh, performs in IPL, gets selected in international team, flops international level, gets dropped. Hey, look, shit happens. But he played very well last night for his 53, I think it was. So, hey, we're gonna, can I give a reaction to this? Where is it? You guys know I love the man Sanju. Uh, let's give a little heart. There we go. Little heart for the man Sanju. Oh, <laughs> the man Shika Darwan and Sachin. I could only assume this is a meme about Shikadawan not getting his hundred because we know who the king of not getting centuries was sometimes. This man, Sachin. I, re I reckon Sachin went out like in the 90s at least like 15 times in his career. Like honestly, he went out in the 90s so many times it was ridiculous. Indian batters getting dis... Yo, I just spoke about this. Indian batters getting dismissed in the 90s in ODI cricket. S Yo! I said 15 times. 20. Damn! Sachin. That's just in one format as well. That is crazy. 17 times he got dismissed in the 90s and three times on 99. Nah. Bro, imagine if Sachin, like, converted half of these into hundreds. No one would go near his records. Like, no one would touch him. <sighs> Shikadawan, six times. That sucks. Ganguly, six times. Suag, five. And the man Coley, five times. Also gone out on 99 once. Yeah. Um, to be honest, what would you rather go out on? Like, 99 or 49? I don't know. Probably 49, just so. Actually, probably 99. At least 99's a few more runs. <laughs> Goes for it and gets it. Doesn't concede a boundary, yeah. Hey, Mohamed Siraj, shout out to him. That was a great ball. Uh, great Yorker in the in the first ODI. ODI average of 45 and strike rate of 90 plus. Okay, the man Sachin and Shikha Darwan, although it is a pretty Pacific list. That's, hey, he deserves to be loved and just celebrated it as much as anyone um, in that country, Shikadawan. He is an absolute superstar. Has been an absolute superstar for so, so long. Um, yeah. So, yeah, give him all the love. Give the man Shikadawan all the love. Uh, even for the... Okay, so we got Usman Kawaja here talking about... Even for the local players here, if leagues start coming up in UAE, South Africa, wherever, what if a local player starts thinking, I'll get paid twice as much money to go play there? Why would I stay here in the Big Bash? Usman, what's going on? Do you... Usman, do you... Like, bro, are you trying to help the Big Bash or are you trying to tell people to leave? Like, what's going on? We're trying to keep all of our players here. Why are you giving them ideas? Although, look, it is a financial decision. If the UAE offered you $300,000 when, you know... Australia, like a Big Bash team is offering you $80,000, you'd go to UAE and make, make a nice living for a year or two. Like, I, I, can, I can definitely see where he's going from, but unless the paycheck is significantly bigger, who would want to go like from Australia to UAE to play 
cricket. Like, I'd rather just stay in my home country in front of my home fans, my family, and as long as I'm getting paid a, a living, then I'd happily stay in Australia and play. Um, but I can understand, if you're getting offered a lot more money, then yeah, I, I can definitely see why. <clears throat> what the fuck? Bro, Rishabh, what are you doing? Rishabh Pant did this shocking act after watching my <laughs> Oh, Rishabh, what are you doing? Rishabh, at least take your hand off your penis. Rishabh! <laughs> Man, what is he doing? Like, bro, I know this wasn't his intentions, but it does not look good. I'm not going to lie, Rishabh, it does not look good. Oh man, nah, that, <laughs> that has got it right there, that is, that's, yeah. Oh, I need to compose myself after that. <laughs> Hold on, what is he doing? I still don't understand what the man Rishab is actually doing there, but. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll get a quick drink of water, let's go. Best editor on YouTube, will edit that out. Fuck hundreds, all my homies hate for it to score. <laughs> At least Pajara has been scoring um, centuries in England, so that's all right. Uh, yeah, here we go. I'm glad. Okay, history at Grace Road and brought up with a six. Sam Northeast becomes the ninth man in first class history to bring up 400 in an innings. An astonishing... F I mean, like, come on. 400 not out is the most insane shit ever. And then I read something that he was dropped on 96. So whoever dropped him, they ended up conceding another, what, 394 more runs or something? Like 304 more runs? Like, holy moly, you made a bad decision um, to drop that one. Form is temporary outside. <laughs> what is with the random Virat Kohli slander? Virat hasn't even played in days and we're still seeing memes about Virat. <laughs> oh, man. Got the man Trent Bolt. It's like I grow an extra limb when the ball's... What do you mean by that? I grow an extra limb? Hmm. Hmm. That's... It's a little bit sus, but I'll let that one pass. Um, Shaheen Afridi waiting for the Indian top order at the T20 World Cup. Hey, hey, hey to be fair, Afridi is in some great form right now. And like, not even Afridi waiting for the Indian top order, waiting for the World Cup in general. Afridi in Australia bowling 150 k, well not one, like 145 k's every delivery, swinging the F out of that ball. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be dangerous regardless, isn't it? But, you know, we're thinking about Shaheen Afridi. I think about someone like Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, who I don't know when the last time he played in Australia was, but he's going to get a lot of swing um, with that kookaburra ball. So it's going to be interesting to see how this World Cup goes. I think it's going to be a pace-dominated World Cup, in my opinion. Guys literally only want one thing, and it's... T yeah! The man, wow. Dale Stane, I wish I was that ball. Joking. I'm joking. <laughs> if you're going to play test cricket, why not enjoy it? Facts. That's facts. Most international 50s since Virat Kohli's last 100. Wow. 41? God damn. Bubba Azam has 41 50s. That's, yeah, that's... Uh, wait, what? Virat has 24 half centuries since his own last hundred. So he is second on this... Wait, hold on. Hold on a damn second. Hold on. Hold on. So you're telling me that Virat Kohli is second on this list with 24 half centuries since his last hundred, and he still got dropped from the Indian team. You're telling me... I, I mean, look, obviously statistics don't mean everything, but in this case, they do. He is the second player. I mean, he's equal with Alan DeGeneres and Mohamed Rizwan, but still, 
You wouldn't see Joe Root or Rizwan getting dropped from their teams. You wouldn't see Litton Das or Kale Rahul getting dropped from their teams. But for some reason, the man Virat Kohli got dropped. When he's second on this list, he's got 24 half centuries since his last 100. He's only the second person. Man, I mean, yeah. This is why you just, why did he get dropped when he's literally their most performing batsman in ODI cricket? Or most, no, just in general. This is most international 50s, not even a format. This is overall. I mean, the man Virat has been done bad by the BCCI. Let's not even lie. Um, is it a video? What's going on here? Hold on. Let's go back to the start. Um, all right. Sam Northeast joins. Yep. Becomes the ninth. Okay. Here's a look at the club. Okay. Okay. So the man Brian Lara. 501 not out. We have heard about this famous innings when he used to play county cricket uh, for Warwickshire. So, wow. 501. I only think Brian Lara was like pretty young at that stage as well, wasn't he? So, um, Hanif Muhammad for so for Pakistan, I think. Karachi versus yep, uh, 1959. He made 499. Imagine doing all of the work to get to 499 just to miss out on your 500. <sighs> That's rough. That is rough. Woo. One off 500. The man, Don Bradman. Wow. This is probably our greatest um, first class player ever, obviously. 452 not out. Again, in 1930. Wow. Um, oh, uh, should, I, should I even try to say this name? Uh, oh, boy. Uh, Bas, wait, hold on. I'm gonna try. Basu Heb, wait, Baseb Nim Nim Nimbelkar. Okay, we're gonna call him Nim Nimbelkar. Um, 443 not out is. Was he playing for Maharashtra then as well? Wow, 1948. That's a long time ago. It's like a couple of years ago. Uh, oh, the man Bill Ponsford. Wow, 437. Um, playing for Victoria in the day, 1927 this was, so I was a few years away from being born at this time, that's for sure. Bill Ponsford again, 429, okay, okay. Um, Aftab Baloch, 428, wow, okay, okay, um, 424. Archie McLaren for Lancashire in 1895. Wow. 1895. Is this a real photo? Is this the man who created McLaren? Like, he's got a cool mustache. I'll, I'll agree with that, though. He's got a nice mustache. I'm very jealous. <laughs> um, all right. And there we go. The man Sam Northeast. Wow. There he is. Into the record book. Graham Hick. Okay, 405 not out in 88. And then the legend himself, Brian Lara, 400 not out against England in 2004. Wow. Just terrorized England, didn't he, Brian Lara? Oh, and that's it. All right. Hey, which one do you think's the greatest out of that? Like, I mean, shit. I mean, it's hard to go past 501 not out, isn't it? 501 not out is the most craziest shit I've ever seen. Um, breaking Kate Moss a shock inclusion into Eng England's test squad. I can tell a wrongen from a <laughs> what? I can tell a wrongen a <laughs> way. Really? I didn't even know Kate Moss was a big cricket fan like that. Wow. So wow, shock inclusion into the England test squad. I don't even know if she's from the from the UK, but don't you worry, England will get her citizenship sorted out. <laughs> I'll get that sorted, don't you worry. He's got his playing cricket at the train stop. He's what? Wait, hold on, replay that. Did I miss something? Bro, you got a bit like he's actually pretty close to the train there. And no run! <laughs> <laughs> and then he taps the ground after it. 
A Pakistani run machine turned 75 today. A prolific run scorer, Zahir Abbas, known as the Asian Bradman, I have heard that before, turned four of his 12 test centuries into double hundreds. Jeez. Only seven Pakistan batsmen have scored more test runs than Abbas. He finished his career with 108 first class hundreds. Sorry, what? 108 first class hundreds. Bro, that's. Bro, that is 10,000 runs just in centuries. That is insane. The most for a Pakistani batsman and the third highest for someone not from England. Wow. Okay, hey. Happy birthday to the man Zahir Abbas. I hope you had a great day. Um, that's awesome. Very. No player from the 2011 World Cup final plays for India anymore. Really? Suwag, Tendulkar, Gambir, <laughs> Kohli. I mean, technically, he doesn't play for India anymore, so, okay, I'll agree with it. Yuvraj Singh, uh, Dhoni, of course, the skipper, Suresh Raina, Harbhajan, Zahir, um, Patel, and Srinath. Wow, so inspirational right there. Um, well, that's not Srinath. Um, yeah, I know who that is. I, just, I always butcher his last name, so I'm not going to say it, or his first name, but... Squad members not playing today. Ashwin, Chawala... Ashish Neera and Ifan Patan. Wow. Those are some sort of names to leave out of the team as well. It just shows how good that 2011 Indian team actually was. But um, Angelo Matthew plays his 100th test. Yeah. So I did see this, that he was playing his 100th. And the man, Chandy Ma Wait, Ch Chaminda Vass. Not Chandy Ma <laughs> Chaminda Vass uh, gave him his cap. Wow. Very cool. They're um, like best friends, I think, as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, most tests for Sri Lanka. Jay Awardne with 149. Sangakkara, 134. Murali, 132. And there is the great man himself, Ch uh, Chaminda Vass, 111. That's no surprise. He was a gun. Uh, Jay Soraya, 110. And now the man, Angelo Matthews, brings himself into the top six. Well done. Very inspirational, and one of the finest players that uh, Sri Lanka have ever had. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations to the great man, Angelo Matthews. Hopefully they get the win. Um, Richard Pant's Gabba innings was a major factor in the record-breaking 2,000 crore deal between Star and Cricket Australia. Wow. So, so Richard Pant was... He secured the money <laughs> for Star Sports. They better be thanking him. They better be thanking him. We got the man Ricky Ponting. Former Australia cricketer and former head coach of IPL franchises, Ricky Ponting and Cricket Association of Nepal both agrees that today is Thursday and tomorrow is Friday. What? Wait, what? Bro, I thought this was about to say that he was going to, like, coach Nepal or something, and I was a bit worried, but... Okay, I'm glad that we all agree that today's Thursday and tomorrow's Friday. That's really awesome. Um, but technically, today is Monday, so I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yeah. Choosing cricket as a career is the second best decision by Rashab. Block Uvasi is still... Is this his wife or his girlfriend? Looks like he made a pretty good decision, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> definitely his best decision. Baba Azam dropped Angelo Matthews' catch. Wow. And then Baba Azam dropped Dick Weller's catch. <laughs> and the man! Um, yeah, I, I did hear that he dropped two catches, and they were pretty easy. So, oh boy. Um, you just, oh boy, you just know that if Baba Razam posts any sort of like tweet or anything after this game, his comments are going to be full with images of this. I know it already. Um, we've got the man Elon Musk. Okay. Judge, I hereby sentence you to 68 years in prison. Me. Whispers to my lawyer. Lawyer, my client has requested you add one more year for 69. <laughs> Something, that's something I do. I'm not even going to lie. 
Look at the date of the post-it and read it till the end, okay? Um, 2013, okay? Don Bradman, average of 99, yep. Tendulkar, 100 centuries, yep. Mark Boucher, 999 dismissals. I didn't even know that. That's a fair effort. Brian Lara, 400 runs in an innings. Uh, Murali, 800 test wickets. Five, damn, 1,000 wickets is insane. Surav Ganguly, four consecutive men of the matches. Really? Is that the biggest streak of all time? That's a pretty good effort. Um, Shahid Afridi, 100 off just 37 balls. Yep. Uh, Jim Laker, 10 plus 9 equals 19 wickets in a test match. Okay. Uh, Verinda Suag, 219, highest individual by any in ODI. Wow. 2013. When did Rowett make his... Um, didn't Rowett make his 264 literally like a couple days after this? Wait, did Rowett make his 264 this year? I think uh, that year, 2013, I think he did. So that record actually would have gotten broken that year. And then number 10, Mishbar Uhak has the most runs in a year without 100. Jeez. Bro, that's actually sad. Poof. That sucks. I wonder if he ever got his century. In 2013, Sharma was yet to make his 264, yeah. Well, around this time, he would have gotten very... Like, wasn't the game played, like, around this time as well? So it probably happened a week later. Um, in that. Yeah, so here we go. So the Ashes and the Border Gavaskar Trophy are back on Star Sports um, and Disney Hotstar, I think. In, in just India as well, I believe. So, um, I don't know if this is a good deal or not, but I have seen a lot of people saying that they're not that happy with it. I guess it's, you know, I, I, I don't know what the television um, broadcasting rights are like in India, but I think Star Sports is like the main, like, like the main channel that everyone, you know, can watch their sport on across, you know, as long as you, you know, pay for your TV and stuff like that. And you get Star Sports. But now I think they're transferring the cricket, the just the cricket that's played in Australia from 2024 onwards, I think, will be played on Disney. So I think that means Big Bash, obviously the Ashes, Border Gavaskar Trophy in Australia, maybe the Women's Big Bash, maybe some Sheffield Shield, I don't know. But um, it is it only starts in 2024. So if you guys uh, don't have Disney, Hopefully in a year's time or so, maybe you guys... Or, or, like, I mean, I, I'm just grateful that we get to watch it on our, our channels in Fox Sports. But hopefully, um, you know, Disney becomes a lot more, you know, accessible. Because Disney is very expensive in Australia. Um, so I, I could only imagine what Disney Plus Hotstar is like. I'm, it's probably just expensive as well. So um, hopefully they lower the prices and let people watch a lot of cricket because... There's nothing worse than just, like, no one wants to pay so much money just to watch cricket. Like, come on. We're here to watch the cricket. We're not here to pay money to, to like, every time, you know? Uh, most runs by an Indian captain after four innings. Gambier, 329, okay. Kohli, 250. Tendulkar, 246. Rowett, 240. And the man Shikha Darwan brings himself onto the list. 225. Nice. What the heck? Johnny Sins, Indians version. The man Prithvi Shaw. Prithvi, what's going on here? I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> no, I... What is he doing? Like, he's like biting his lip. He's seducing everyone. <laughs> what is he doing? Village cricket be like. What the heck? The man Deepak Huda. Wait. Deepak Huda <laughs> has a bunch of tape over it because he's wearing Prasid Krishna's jersey, who obviously didn't play last night. So he had to wear Prasid Krishna's <laughs> top. Lucky they're the same size then, I guess. Um. And this is the last thing. So we've got the man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not ready. 
We got the man Matthew Hayden. Okay. The man Chad Hayden cooking mutton curry for coach to regain his form. All right, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Bit of bit of uh, garlic, I think, there. Bit of sauce. Bit of... Uh... Ooh, there we go. Get them spices in there. Okay. Bit of, there's the garlic. Okay. Okay, he's adding a lot of sauce. It's a lot of sauce. Oh, there we go. Woo wee! Damn, that sh that looks so good. Hold on. Hold on. I was worried at the start that he was just gonna like mix it and it was gonna look really bad, but this is quality right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what I'm after right here. Oh. God yeah. And it says, I've seen God. He bats at number four for India in tests. Who's he talking about? Is he talking about Kohli there? Probably, maybe. But hey, the food looks pretty good, so I can't even lie. Uh, but hey, that will cap it off. Cricket Memes, episode 52. Great episode. Hey, I hope we all enjoyed. Remember, if you want to join the Discord, let me know. I will get you in here. Um, and hey, I hope everyone enjoyed. And I'll see everyone in the next one.